ventures, which I'm is square, I believe, a very exciting <laughs> investment. Secondly, Stanford, not giving money to Stanford anymore, Mr. Reimer. It's okay with the Google at $700 a share right now. Larry and Sergey has it all taken care of. 630. 630. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and still. <laughs> And still, don't you wish you had one or two of those shares? Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, the, about 10% of the U.S. passports, people in the United States, only 10% of a passport. That's just our president, and he's leaving soon. <laughs> uh, not that we're bitter, but we completely are. So, next, uh, this man was talking about what, whether it's best or worst, which is better. In the United States, best is pretty much most. Um, that's how we think of things there. And, it, simply put, the best internet companies right now are in the United States. Google, Yahoo, AOL, Facebook. MySpace and Facebook right now are the fastest growing social networks in, in Europe and all over. Um, even though there's some great social networks here, all the exciting companies right now, Apple in innovation. And while there's a lot of great European countries, companies, most of the big internet companies are, um, are US based. And they will continue to be because of the, the culture of Silicon Valley. Next, one of the things that's really great about Silicon Valley is our promiscuity. We are an incredibly loose group of people in Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Almost last four week's debate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you guys picked food over sex, but nonetheless. <laughs> um, Fairchild begat HP, begat Intel. G uh, I'm sorry. The House believes food is better than sex. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Horrified by that. Um, General Magic begat eBay. Stanford begat Google and Yahoo. PayPal begat YouTube and Facebook. Right now, there's a big area in widgets in the United States, the widgetization of everything. It's all about ubiquitous promiscuity, and nobody does it better than people in the United States and in Silicon Valley, <laughs> despite the fact that it's populated by people who never got a date in high school. <laughs> happen in China, we are totally getting on that right next week, right guys, right? Yes. We're going to China, exactly. That's one of the great things about Silicon Valley, we get on things really quickly. Um, the part about us not having a social network, yes, we're an incredibly mean country and we're going to continue to be so, and therefore innovation will thrive. Um, lastly, one of the things that I think is really important, there's an expression, the plains are covered with the bodies of pioneers. One of the great things about our country is that we keep going and we keep forcing things. There's a ton of innovation going on in Silicon Valley constantly. People change, people do things. They, they're loose, they forgive trespasses, they're drunk with money. They're open to new ideas. No is only an invitation to innovate. And one of our greatest things right now is, well, you may have 72 or 80 Nobel Prize laureates. Uh, a new VC in Silicon Valley is Al Gore, and he won an Oscar and his friends with Obama. <laughs> <laughs> of Kleiner Perkins, which is one of the great uh, VC firms of all time, and he's going to be investing in clean tech, and that's an area I think that Silicon Valley is going to continue to innovate in, which is the next wave, and as that moves forward, I think companies like Google and others are going to start investing in all sorts of uh, clean tech and energy things, and it's going to be the next wave of innovation for Silicon Valley. by voting through the door. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Nesta and Silicon Valley Connect and thank all the participants in tonight's debate who've entertained us, who've educated us and who've generally um, been very interesting to listen to. Without further ado, we will vote. Eyes to the right, nose to the left and abstentions down the centre. Thank you very much.